tasting coffees at Chromatic with the... Uh, have some. Oh, thank you. So, uh, yeah, we're just here checking out the uh, new stuff from our friends at MX Cool. So oh, we got... The aftertaste. Yeah. Got the new grinder here. Also this six scale, but yeah, I've got, got the guys to from Hello. MX Hi. Cool to come and hang out with us, but uh, yeah, we're just pulling up some shots and you know, I guess we can show off the grinder, show off maybe the scale as well. And yeah. It's just a hangout. Fun stuff. And we're pulling a waffle basket, a classic. Was it 247, so 18 gram. Yeah. I'm gonna do one more shot. Really like it taste, uh, really like the taste when it kind of cool down. Yeah. Mm. So I went uh, 120 on the RPM with that. Mm -hmm. So just ran right the middle between the mm -hmm. two. Yeah, so can we do a quick overview of this guy? Or do you, do yeah. you, want, do you want to explain what this is? <laughs> so I know people have seen this. Um, I got to check this guy out actually at Specialty Coffee Expo and um, the guys from MX Cool here, they come Hello. from uh, Taiwan, came over here. So we're here in the Bay Area and they, you know, they're just uh, showing it. Kind of, you guys are doing like a little road tour. Or, or yeah, road yes. Tour. Yeah, so so we're visiting um, the, especially on the West Coast for this week, and we're kind of uh, we're trying to meet more friends and knowing people around here, and trying to get some feedback on um, on how we can do it better. Oh yeah, this is yeah. also Dan. Yeah, right? right? Yeah, I'm Dan. <laughs> yeah, quick intro. I'm Dan, and this is Mike, and he's the founder of actually he's the founder of the brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, nice. You know, the founder. Yeah, the founder. Yeah. yeah. Right. So. Um, yeah, so this this is Arius. This is actually our second product. So we do have our first product, and which is a coffee scale. Yeah, it, it's called uh, right ka Katze. Yeah, it's yeah, right here. Yeah, it's isn't it? Yeah, and, and it's got a super cool feature on this scale where you can. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah do you, you gotta show this. Look at that. Pop Ooh, yeah, so pop for you. For you. Okay. That's All how right. you know it's good. Okay, yeah. So we, we actually we, don't we, complain about it. So so what? a person come here and say, for you. What is for me? <laughs> it's, it's, it doesn't make sense. Why do you put for you on it? And we're like, I, I don't know. Yeah. So we got the scale, but you know, they, they made this cool scale and then now got the grinder. So yeah, that's what we're showing off next. Okay. So second product. So yeah. So I'm going to try it without this. Yeah, sure. I want to do direct it. I'm going to keep this. Uh, oh, let's. So this is cool. This is magnetic. You just kind of twist. The magnets line up. So the twist is really nice so you have like what is this eight magnets here four magnets here mm -hmm. so you just put it in and twist it and it'll find its place mm -hmm. twist back out and then knocker right here yeah and this is a small knocker yeah. yeah this is an 83 mil uh, conical bird yeah. grinder yeah. and single, then just single twist dose. right yeah until it just, yeah easy, oh easy. look at that that is super that. cool and these are not Mazer 83s, so we not are Mazer 83s. Off to a good start. No, it's not. <laughs> um, yeah, not yeah. Mazer 83s, but incredibly simple um, operation on like you know taking it apart, cleaning it, and all of that. Uh, you can do pour over, espresso. You can you know you can you do do everything you want. Yeah, um, reassembly is super easy. You just yeah. put it up and twist until it locks back Maybe in. Three seconds. Now, obviously, if you want the the magic, yeah, you, the little you uh, the, the thing there. But I already did a few shots like this, and I want to try it without. Yeah, and, and you have RPM funnel. control. Yeah, the RPM. Let's twist it to the side. Yeah, you get a little RPM. Control. So you got from 90 RPM, 105, 120, 135, up to 150. Yeah, so these are all uh, preset RPM. Yeah, preset. And this is all metal. Feels good. And then you actually can pour the beans in uh, directly here yeah, as well. Yeah, and a small liver spin inside, making sure no blue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we just uh, stole your entire marketing pitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna... that was kind of actually like brew some stuff. I'm gonna do it without the lid. Yeah, sure. Just so we can get some yeah. shots. But I, I'm gonna try to yeah, yeah, protect yeah. it from hopping yeah, over. Yeah, no, so, so usually you do want to run the lid, otherwise yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a little bit of popcorn. Jumping, but yeah. We, we'll try and... Yeah, and so you, you, can, you can cold start this too. No, there's no stalling. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this to, and hope for the best. And then Finger cross. Never done this before. Yeah, oh, that works perfectly. Usually, usually when you have the lid on, it's fine. But I just see the beans get fed in there. 
it is really quiet and then it's kind of gives that big pattern of like um typical big conical burrs whenever they're grinding into into stuff get a little knocker there and does the torque vectoring so it auto stops right mm. yeah so shows up like that yeah but like most of these feel good uh, this is all metal yeah 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 it, 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 it feels feel good really nice. yeah Wow. It feels quality. It doesn't feel like a cheapo yeah, this is a zinc, plastic. Yeah, uh, zinc alloy. Mm -hmm. It's just heavier and more sturdiness. Yeah, and then like... That's fluffy. Fluffy ground. Feels good. Very, yeah, very fluffy ground. Yeah. It's actually fine. Still, still some inside. Some bit. inside, yeah. But yeah. Usually, you would grind it into there, and then you Brown. you transfer it, yeah. and you do Point this. One gram. But we we're playing around with you know if you just grind directly into there, what happens? One seems, little seven. Seems okay. Yeah. Yeah. See the screen. Goes flare. Yeah, we're gonna pull on the flare fifty eight. You know, it's kind of funny that you also have a Sete two seventy here <laughs> next to, next to that. <laughs> the, my, Amazing. Uh, yeah, it's blue. conical, blue. conical, yeah. conical. And the Mr. Coffee. Oh, yes. Very, very important. That's the lowest common denominator check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is pretty compact, though. Like It's this. very compact. Yeah. yeah. Commercial use, mainly? Home yeah. use? Uh, ho home, home use. Home use. Yeah, initially we're targeting high end mm -hmm. home users. But we, yeah, we're, we're getting f feedback about uh, maybe it has the potential to enter a commercial mm. market. So, yeah. I mean, we've been we've been pulling shots this guy. All right. High extraction. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. So far, the what do, what do you think about the coffee coming out of this grinder so far? Oh, um, yeah, everything's been good so far. It's just nitpicking, mm -hmm. like, dial in, but uh, the long, lingering aftertaste and the separation of flavors is really fun. I like that. And so far, we have detected some differences between um, like low RPM and high RPM. It, it seems like I have, generally it seems like we've been preferring the, the higher RPM. Mm -hmm. So I just pull that shot. And I, for this one, I did a, a slow pre-infusion. Yeah. So like, like one, two bar up to nine and just stay to nine and then mm -hmm. let it naturally ramp down yeah, to the I, bottom. Of the shots you've pulled and I've been tasting these, like I, I, de I definitely am getting a lot of those flavor separations and the long finish. Um, and what's also been interesting is I actually kind of have been enjoying the acidity presentation of, of these shots. Like, they're not insanely sharp. Like, I feel like there's a little bit of rounding. Yeah. So it's it's pretty good. It's but comfortable. Yeah. It's, it's comfortable. The shots are definitely very comfortable. Like, you get an idea of the coffee. Um, yeah. But they're not, like, sharp. Yeah. Where so it's like you know maybe some people who would prefer ultra sharp clarity presentation right this might not be like the best choice for you but um, it is much more enjoyable like to me that's much more enjoyable with like a lot of coffee yeah like, and I don't need ultra high acidity presentation yeah. at, all the time more yeah smooth and balanced yeah definitely more smooth and balanced but still retains a lot of like uh, flavor separation all right what coffee is this uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is a Colombia Chiroso honey process. Um, it was roasted on the 3rd, and today is, what, the 21st. Uh -huh. So, well, it, it is a lighter roast. Um, I wouldn't say it's not like a espresso roast or anything like uh -huh. that. It's not optimized for it, but I figured it still would be a nice mm -hmm. showcase. It's, it's a cool cultivar. Oh, nice aromas. Really enjoy it. So this one does have like a brighter, mm. a brighter acidity. Yeah, up front. Yeah, but it's but still it's like creamy, smooth. Yeah, it's still like rounded, and it kind of like goes into like this really long finish. 
and it's a soft fit. Like yeah, it, it comes it's down, not it's harsh, like, not harsh, right. little pillowy in a way. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's just yeah, yeah. That that's that's it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll say may, maybe because of the how light it is and the density that I do prefer the higher RPM. Yeah. Um, but I did like the flavor separation of the lower RPM. And it did have a nice linger as well. But because I, for single origin, I do like a little bit of acidity. Mm-hmm. I do like a little bit of sharpness up front. And then it, it softens up. So this is, mm-hmm. this shot is, I think, the best demonstration of the things that I like about Chidoso as a cultivar. Yeah, so right. like the nice thing too is like there is that brightness brought up, but it's not like super sharp and harsh. It's yeah, like it's, it's got that really yeah. nice like like a, you like know, a hill. Pillow. Yeah, yeah, and and that's really interesting because I haven't tasted something like this out of a conical in a, in a in a long while. Like I'm very I'm very used to like if you pull if you pull this style of shot on this grinder, it would be pretty harsh, yeah. um, at least on some of the smaller conicals and and. Um, yeah, the only the only grinder this is kind of reminding me of is a little bit of like cafe texture cone, but I think yeah. this is actually, I think this is a little clearer than maybe the shura cones, but it's a slightly different presentation. Um, this is it yeah. is very approachable. Yeah, this is very yeah very approachable. And like I say this is a medium light. It's not mm-hmm. like purely yeah, light, but it's a medium light. So the caramelization of, of the sugar is is meant to balance out. But mm-hmm. even then, in this presentation, I I'm really liking. I enjoy the light feeling I have now on the tongue after mm-hmm. tasting. Yeah, and yeah. this, I was going to say, sorry, real quick. Uh, oh, yeah. This coffee is a little bit more citric when we mm-hmm. pull it up front. Mm-hmm. Um, so to get more of these like malic kind of berry qualities mm-hmm. coming through and almost like a green apple, mm-hmm. um, it's pleasant. It's really yeah. nice. You usually also like in my, I, I've used like a lot of like the niche zero and a lot of these other conicals is if you'd pulled that same style of shot, what we would be having like uh, in the aftertaste would be a, a much harsher. Uh, right. Like right now I'm still getting, like this is a really long aftertaste. Like I think it's like the coffee or or the grinder. Like I'm still tasting it right now. It has a juiciness. It's yeah. Like, but coffee, good coffee. Yeah, but there's no like dryness to it. There's no like harshness. No. It's still just, it's still lingering on my tongue. Yeah, I know. It's super interesting. It's, it's not because I do like having that separation of flavors, but I don't like it to be like like separate, like like fully separate. Yeah. Like I want to be able to identify them, but I want Slowly. it to also be a little bit yeah, more, like more harmonious. Yeah, more harmony. Between, yeah, less more harmony, fractured, well, like, well right. connected. And, yeah, I, yeah, that's what I'm getting with this. Is that it is it is it's telling a story. It's kind of moving through the flavors mm-hmm. that are present, but it's it's not fractured. It's yeah, it's smooth and clean but identifiable. Yeah, so that's like what you get with a lot of these like good conical grinders. Um, definitely with certain flats, like for me on some of like, you know, the 98 mil SSPs, like that is what some people really like, is like very clear, harsh separation or like defined separation. This is more like harmonious, uh, melded together yeah. separation. So, you you know, you, you understand the coffee, but it's just different. And this is why everyone owns like one of these, you know, everyone, you, you end up buying everything because you want to taste the same coffee presented differently. Um, Got, <coughs> there's, there's some heft to eight, it. There's some heft to it. Eight, okay. Eight kilos. Eight kilos, right. okay. Seven, Seven and eight. Yeah. Around eight. But That's I, good. I definitely could see like a commercial app, like if you were serving single origin espresso to someone, like to normal people, I feel like this would present pretty well for... I mean, I could see this next to like, like, on a mod bar, uh-huh. essentially, like oh yeah. Functional. If you if you look, had like three look. of these and like different uh-huh. copies oh, for it, great. dialed in for yeah. yeah, it would yeah, look yeah. like very stylistic. I like the low profile. Mm-hmm. Like this, I like, like fit. I like that it's not much taller than than the flare because this would fit really well at home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I have a big grinder. I have a Malcone. Oh, EK forty. No, no, no. I have a. Was it the E fifty six? Oh, or the S S no S. No, it's an S. It's like E sixty five. E sixty five. Oh, so you have like the big. Well, yeah, it's yeah, a big yeah, commercial yeah. grinder, okay. yeah, yeah. and I just have the hopper full, and that's for my wife. Like she has it's the <laughs> one blend. She does that, but when I want single origin, I'm like, I have to empty this grinder out now, <laughs> yeah. or I'll just use the you know. It, yeah. Not that it's great for espresso, but the um, the ode to can. Oh yeah, so it, it can it can do yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> it can do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, like like mechanically, functionally, it can do it. 
but I would love to have something like that on my counter. Yeah. It look real slick. My you counter's all black. You heard that? <laughs> we, will, we will start selling this um, from the, at the end of this month. Uh -huh. So we will have around two or three months collecting feedback and how people feel about the machine. And ideally, we will like change some tiny stuff, uh -huh. some details to make it like even better. OK, and that's in Taiwan? Yeah, that's in okay. Taiwan. Yeah. And so initially, we're selling around 400 units in Taiwan, mm -hmm. So which means that we Hopefully we can have 400 feedback coming from <laughs> them. I mean, I mean, we won't email them like everyone, but yeah, but some of them are are some prof coffee professional, mm -hmm. coffee enthusiasts in Taiwan. So they are giving us some feedback, and yeah, we're really looking forward to kind of adjust it and mm -hmm. and make it better. Yeah. So so how much is this guy supposed to cost? So so the retail price is around twelve hundred to thirteen hundred okay. yeah. US dollars. But still figuring it out, obviously, you know, you Yeah. Yeah. Just, so yeah. It'll probably be a bit you know, a few a few months before we see like some more details, especially right. for uh US purchasers. But definitely like I'm pretty sure I, I know there are like guys who watch my channel in Taiwan, like so, yeah. you know, if you if you any of you Taiwan viewers, uh pick this guy up, let let us know how you like it. Are you cups this guy? Yeah. Before? So I yeah. what I yeah, so I had a cupping, um, just a general cupping for myself, but I have the same coffee mm -hmm. at the end. So I left one of the one of the sets of coffee mm -hmm. for their grinder because I wanted to see. So I wasn't able to compare like temperature to temperature. Yeah. But that said, and just for full disclosure, what? it's a Guatemala lab, uh -huh. um, and the burrs are on the older side, but they're still functional. Uh -huh. But it it did create this compared to this grinder did have some muddiness uh -huh. to which uh, I was able to identify like a really nice jasmine floral mm. note in this one that I hadn't picked up on this one. Yeah. Uh, so it does have that nice distinction of, of flavors, right. but without having it be fractured mm. and, and like not fitting together. So th there is a, a yeah. harmony that's do, very Do you pleasant. remember what RPMs you were grinding at? Like this one? RPMs? For the cupping? I think this one's 90. It yeah, we did, low, we did. We did. We did the lowest. Okay. Yeah, 90 RPM. All right. But I wanted to check check that out too. Yeah, and this yeah. is like you know they're they're small burrs and they're flat. Yeah. And they're also vertical, which is not my favorite alignment uh -huh. for flat. I I want yeah, I want all my burrs to oh, just okay. be horizontal, yeah. <laughs> um, or as close to horizontal as possible. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, we'll try some more. So the main thing we we did lose a little bit of ground coffee in the process of experimenting without. Um, the yeah, knockabout, right? I'm gonna little tumbler. We're gonna do it this way, so that's one one variable mm -hmm. that we'll introduce, and we'll also the so RDT on we're gonna this already. Grind espresso at the lowest RPM, and we are going to cold start it. And we're gonna so this is like normal operation. Here. Yeah, usually it won't pull. jump when you're in uh, 90 RPMs. Oh, okay. okay, so the lever spins slower. Okay, so it won't jump as much as um. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so okay. you're ah, supposed to use sure. it. Right. <laughs> I, I didn't say a word. <laughs> but it did jump less, though. The other yeah. one, they were kind of like going, like, but oh, it's cool. like, yeah. no no stalling, cold start. And look, it's really smooth. Yeah. You can see in there, like, just slowly, gently. It's quiet, too. Like, very this quiet. is very quiet. Very quiet. It's not okay. so I'll just knock it until it stops. Oh yeah, yeah. Auto, auto stop, stop, auto stop. Auto stop. Yeah. I'm like torque vectoring essentially. So here's them like like that, and then I'm gonna do it a little. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna loosen it up because that's. One yeah. Thing. Per personally, I'm not like too invested in this type of workflow, but I I, I understand like why a lot of people like. Yeah. This way yeah. Of doing I, it. I understand it as well. This is not my favorite yeah. way. I much prefer to like you know grind into something and then I'm a funnel just pour it in, funnel, yeah, pour it in, and then yeah. WDT pre infused. Yeah, pre infused. It's definitely looks much more normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That looks more normal. Yeah. <laughs> no, crema. Okay. Cheers. 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 Oh. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the, ro the aromas on this coffee are still just like super interesting to me. Um, wow. 
acidity is a bit stronger than the last one. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Having Sorter the ratio. Yeah. Mm. But still, so still harmonious, yeah. still like pillowy, silky. Yeah. A little stickier yeah. um, mm -hmm. in a good way. Like, yeah. like stick to the tongue. Mm. Wow. I'm still, I'm still getting that nice acidity presentation up front. Then it goes like nice and rounded. Long, still that long finish, but the the finish is like it, it's it's still pleasant a pleasant yeah. finish. Um, not harsh, not not as bitter as you would expect. Even about, yeah, there's a like, sharpness that yeah. persists longer than mm -hmm. the longer shots. But yeah. again, the, the TDS is yeah, well, a little bit like short, yeah, yeah, it's a shorter yeah. shot, so it's like more <laughs> intense. Yeah. Um, but I like it because it, it is a little bit more compact mm -hmm. up front. Like you get you get the sharpness, but then it's almost Spread like it has out. more time yeah. to, to open up mm -hmm. in that long linger. So the, the linger has more features present yeah. themselves over time. Mm -hmm. I think I take it's so taste, clean. I yeah. think I taste lavender. There is a, there is a floral thing yeah. going on. Mm. Yeah, this is um, there's oh. almost like a resinous. Not pine. It's not piney though. But there's something else that's. I think it's pleasant. It yeah, smells it's like, like juniper, floral, mm -hmm. berry. <clears throat> RPM feels good. You push this to start and stop, and then you move this guy here. So you can chase the RPM, and these are all. It's a 80, 83 mil conical. Yeah, you can. Just I, I still think out. this is like Whoa. the best feature of, of this. It's like you can just Have a easy, easy wow. take the burrs out. Then I can do easy cleaning. Yeah, yes. that's that's wow. the purpose. That's awesome. Manufacturing on it is great. Yeah, I can tell you just like it, it, it's good. Yeah, wow. it feels quality. Mm -hmm. This is a plastic part, just just for the record. Mm -hmm. This but is also plastic, and this is also yeah. plastic. But everything else, like this is, <laughs> what, this is I plastic. Like this is metal. Yeah, this is metal. This is wood. Okay, needs to see this. No, I will get this coming. Either way, it's good. Yeah, I love it. Twenty-five, but it, you know, same, same difference. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. and then twist. Yeah, Definitely. just twist. twist. Yeah, we can. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that nuts? Just like, it feels, yeah. it feels you scared me in, right in a good way. Like it feels wrong. <laughs> like it, it's, so, just, yeah. it's so good that uh -huh. it doesn't. It, it's like, am I missing something? So for or? some of the, the the nerds out there that will ask, this is um, alignment. Alignment. On this. Yeah. So everyone, people, there's always general concern with alignment of some of these bigger birds. Yeah. Is this? Like, we actually, is, it actually took took us at least three months just to figure oh. out how to make it um, so easy to take take it off, oh. but at the same time secure the you know um, like lowering down the tolerance in between to okay. make it so not shaking. There so is some sort of like fines. floating area. There. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We try to minimum the the floating area, the tolerance mm -hmm. in between, mm -hmm. but also at the same time make it um, easy, still easy for you to take it off. Okay. It actually, um, yeah, it, it gives us a lot of pain to, to mm -hmm. try to try to reach that point. Okay. Yeah, and people think so, it, so it has potential. To Slow. Yeah. So now so just straight to nine. Oh, compared to, uh, compared to before, home user, and we're putting some accessories. Camera will hopefully focus on this. Dude, that's just, that's some grandma, man. It's just espresso. Oh, you're competing? And? 50. 50. But I think you have 49.8. 49.8. Plus. I've, I've really enjoyed all of the coffee coming off of this grinder. I bet. Ground on a low RPM. It's a Colombia Chiroso honey process. That's all right. Still that like silkiness. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, silk. Very sweet. It is. I. I. I it is a little is, sweeter. Yeah, this is definitely sweeter. The acidity is uh, more toned down. The sweetness is up. The the mouthfeel yeah. is still the same quality. You did, you did the slow preview at the beginning, right? Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, explains. It's, it's at about like a bar to mm -hmm. a bar and a half. Okay. Like it's not very. And then I do uh, time to fill the basket. Uh, like I kind of I'm calculating my brain. And then when I see that a nut like 80% of the basket mm -hmm. is covered, then I'll go straight to nine bar. Mm -hmm. And then I usually like to sit around like eight and a half bar uh, is my most comfortable yeah. spot. So I'll try mm -hmm. to stay there. And then once the lever is like 75, 80% of the way yeah. down, um, I'll start letting up a little bit, and it just start, starts to naturally ramp down. Wow, this shot was super sweet. That like like it's just all like rounded, silky layers. It's really sweet. clean yeah, too. Very it's clean, clean, yeah, sweet, it's very balanced, structured. We already have 
Yeah. I'm still getting all the same notes that we mm -hmm. have been on everything. Yeah. But I, I right now what I'm experiencing is a almost like a yeah. build up of mm -hmm. the creaminess of the body that yeah. But it's still fading nicely in the in the linger. Yeah, I I, I personally prefer the last shot to this because I like acidity. Well, yeah, 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 I like yeah. I like that acidity. But this is like enjoyability. Like this is all the all the enjoyable aspects. You know, sweet. It's so approachable. This is an incredibly approachable shot. This is something that I would want to serve in a commercial environment, yes. right? Is if I'm showcasing a single origin and I want it to be approachable, I would do this longer shot because yeah. it's 50 it's 19 and 19, 19 and to 50, 50 out yeah. which is getting close to long go it's mm -hmm. like it's pushing the envelope on normal yeah. shot but whereas the other one was ristretto like very ristretto mm -hmm. um and i do prefer that intensity myself and i yes. do like the acidity <clears throat> but i would say they're consistent they, yeah they feel like two versions of the same thing yeah like even in this in this like longer shot i would have expected the acidity to be like much more present anyway but you did that slow fill so we get like all that sweetness and this is just like very and I have kept that consistent on all the shots yeah i would so it is good wow yeah good this grinder it's is fun this grinder is good yeah it, it's great like it, it is very good yeah. Might as well shut off the scale, and we're also going to do filter brew on the Aries. So, so when you see a drop here, it means it's ready. F uh, it's for pour. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's find some filter. Uh, nice thing too is if you're switching between yeah. things, you could just yeah. easily clean off the burr. Yeah, that's I'll be right back. Yep. So, yeah. easy cleaning of the burr. Our thought about um, the bird is, um, so first is titanium coating, mm -hmm. so we think it, it will expand the lifespan. Since, as you can see, that it's not really easy for you to change the bird by yourself, mm -hmm. so we try to expand the lifespan by doing it. Um, so we give it a titanium coating. Mm -hmm. And about the geometry here, as you can see, comparing to the 83 Mazer, um, we have uh, 12 spokes. Yes. Is it, yeah, 12 spokes. So it's slow. It slows down the the feeding rate of the coffee bean. So, well, I we personally think um, so. We we actually tested it out with our burr factory mm -hmm. with the ten spokes and different different um, amounts of spokes. And this one is what we like the most. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, so far tasting this, like I don't run into the problem of like this is a, a burr that feels like it's trying to be a flat. I always feel like the Maserati 83s is like some, it feels like it's trying to be a flat and then I'm like at that point I might as well just use an actual flat um, and then it doesn't give me enough like big body that like I get out of a niche so I, I feel like this is kind of getting closer to what I personally prefer. Um, more like balanced, like it's not, it's, this is like clearly not trying to be a flat bird right here. Like, yeah. You know. yeah, cause uh, Mike and I, so my, Mike especially, he really loves uh, espresso with very thick body mm. and creamy flavor creamy feeling so so when um so when deciding when we're deciding the burr that's also one of the reason why he, cho he chose this mm. one yeah but we also are getting clarity the interesting is like we haven't gotten a lot of like muddiness no yeah. muddiness yeah. i haven't yeah like in bigger a lot of these bigger masters you get a lot yeah, of so muddiness right, okay. um, so it's cool to like not get that muddiness here but with like a lot of the nice things you will experience in like those bigger masters which anyway filter it's quick this is super quiet. quiet. Oh, okay. so good. So that's 24 grams. Hey, so how much can this hold, the cat cup? Like, um, this one. How this one can hold. Oh, we, we've never, we actually haven't tested it out. Oh, we well, did? 24, um, 24. It looks like it can hold about 40. 40? Yeah, yeah. 40, 40 comfortably. Mm -hmm. But but for dosing cup, it's 60. 60, okay. 60, 60 max. Nice. I'm just going to pick it up. Yeah, so that's, that. I, I really like this workflow for filter. Yeah, this is great for yeah. filter. I like that. I don't like it for espresso, but for filter, it's super convenient. You can just like, you know, lift it up and then all your grounds just drop down. We're on that pour-over mode, you know, when you, Detect some weight, it's gonna start timing. Very cool. Scale looks very responsive. I, I actually have one of these, I just haven't posted about it yet. Yeah. You're on that low agitation life. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Well, you definitely do get fines because this is a big conical. Yeah. I could also do the shimmy. Yeah, but we'll next. just taste it. And yeah. 
Thank you. What does it taste like? Yeah, so it, it definitely is consistent with the espresso, mm -hmm. which is kind of weird. Um, I would say it's not similar, but I didn't. Yeah. In a certain way. Yeah. Oh, so, so like, still like that. Rounded. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's sweet. Only, only the, long finish. Oh, hit. Oh, when you hit, you taste it at the beginning, then it's a little bit off. Yeah. But after, yeah. it is what pretty much the same, you know, very like silky, rounded, pillowy finish. Um, same thing with the clar like acidity and clarity presentation. It's like, yes, you get an idea of it, but it's not like insanely intense. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, this, you wouldn't expect that out of this. This also went like, what, for five, five minutes? Yeah, well, this so is also... It was a five minute, it was pretty, I mean, look, you can see. Yeah, like, it, it doesn't, doesn't look ideal, down, very fine. but this does not taste like it came from that. Yeah. Uh, it's actually super clean, mm -hmm. um, really sweet. Yo, I'm, I'm serious about the dragon fruit. Like, it is, <laughs> it is kind of like, it, it has... There's berries. I can't, de I can't detect the intensities as much. Mm -hmm. uh, 24 grams in, 300, uh, 24 grams in coffee, 350 grams in water. Um, I like the mouthfeel. I like the sweetness. Of yeah, it's very sweet. Um, very approachable cup again. Um, yes, you get acidity presentation, but it's like very rounded. Yeah, it, it is. There is clarity. I'm not getting as much of the distinction of the flavor. Uh -huh. So th this is the first. Slightly muddy, yeah. Cut like, but it makes it makes. But sense. It, it's still yeah. delightful. It's still yeah. enjoyable, and it doesn't have any harsh astringent qualities. To yeah, it. you would expect no. you would expect that to like for how long this took. You would I would expect, expect that. some dry or, yeah. or some something bitter. But I'm not getting I'm not getting bitterness. I'm no. getting, I'm getting clean. If anything, too clean. Yeah. Well, if well, also like this looks like this because you're pouring at like one mil for a second. Yeah, I was go I was doing, doing a slow agitation. dribble, <laughs> as very low agitation, which I'm glad I did because it took so long. Yeah. So having the the low agitation, I'm sure helped. No with. bitterness, exactly. Yeah, not at all. Mm -hmm. If you had to guess, would you? This is kind of like 21. It's not over extracted. No. 20, 21, 20, yeah. 21, 21, somewhere out there. Yeah. Ton of ton of espresso, ton of filter brews. Uh, here with Matic, Iver, and then the team from uh, MX School. So awesome. Yeah, thank you guys thank for you. watching. We'll see you guys around. Yeah. You know, thank let you it so much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. MX, right. cool. MX Cool. MX Cool. Thank you, Brian.